back to another episode. We are still working on getting Gracie's truck ready for race week. Uh, we got the transmission bracket back like you saw in the last video and the transmission mount was not fitting. So what I did is cut little notches on the end here. This is a different style than what we've ran for the TH350. As you can see, this, uh, I believe it's like a Mr. Gasket or energy suspension one. That's just one season of, well, I mean, we did blow a motor and it got pretty oily, but look how much, how swole it is. But it did fit down in the bracket well. This is why we initially used that one. So these are about $44. I don't have the part number, um, but you can find them pretty. There's 1036 on it. But uh, we're going to try this one for this year. And if you notch it out, it works pretty well. Still have plenty of strength there. And that one is part number A2378. If you are running a G-Force TH350 cross member, that is the two pieces you can use. But like I said, that thing is just really blown out and swollen. I don't really want to run that again. So, like I said, we're going to try this next one and I'll get up under there, throw it in, and show you how it looks. So, this is how it looks on the TH350. Got plenty of clearance with that G body or G body or G force cross member. First Gen S10. It does have the notches out for exhaust if you're not doing a turbo system on either side. Really nice little setup. So, it does fit well. I guess I'll let you know this thing ends up working or not. Don't pay attention to the other bolts there. I've got, just couldn't reach it right now and I figured I'd get a video done for you. So tighten everything up. And that is the final install of Jake's transmission minus the trans brake wiring and throwing on the shifter cable, adjusting it properly. So get some of that done or maybe move on to some other stuff. See what we get to next. So tighten everything up, except for I need deep 16 which I forgot to bring down and all my brilliantness does anybody know how to train a chicken to read sockets hey cherry pecker go give me a 16 deep hey doesn't listen that well but this is our shop chicken this is cherry pecker he's always in here doesn't matter whether we're using an impact or air or nothing she just hangs out usually it's under the truck Live them off, but uh, if you're good at training chickens like this one to get tools when Gracie's sick and <laughs> the wife's busy with the new baby, come train this chicken. Thanks. <laughs> well, that'll be a quick end to this video. Like I said before, it's been raining like crazy here in Colorado, and uh. I've got to get on stopping my shop from flooding because it's coming in over here, it's coming in back there, it's coming in over here. So that'll be it for today's video. As always, please like and subscribe. I got to get to stopping the waterfall coming into the shop. Thanks guys. See you later.